Hey guys, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to be giving you a guide on men's necklaces. Now, the actual guide is in the article, which I link to right below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Today, I'm really going to just be talking about the five styles. Five styles which you should consider, and I know this is a pretty controversial subject. This is something a lot of guys just do not see themselves ever wearing a necklace, and I'm going to address that. Now, I want to mention this is brought to you by Proclamation Jewelry. They're my latest premium sponsor, an amazing company out of Houston, Texas. Three people came together and they decided, you know, we're going to make masculine jewelry. Jewelry that doesn't apologize for what it is and is going after the man who wants to stand out, who isn't afraid and is proud to wear rings, necklaces, bracelets things like that. So go check them out. Very unique designs. They make custom bespoke pieces. So if you've had an idea for a piece of jewelry and you've never been able to find it, you want to speak with, definitely contact Abe, contact Nick. These are the guys at Proclamation Jewelry who can help take your vision of you know the ideal, perfect, strong, masculine piece and uh, bring it to reality. So go check them out. Okay, so let's get to necklaces. Now, necklaces, Today in this video, I'm going to talk about five styles. Like I said, in the article, I'm going to go into more detail on materials and things like that. But the first style I want to talk about, maybe not so much a style, but something that's become a bit iconic. I've seen where, you know, a lot of guys wearing, can, you know, can you, can you guess what is the style that almost every, pretty much every military man is almost required to wear? The dog tag. And the dog tag actually came out of function. If anyone wants, I'd love for you to hear you in the comments of what the function of the dog tag is. But basically, you get two sets, and most guys would put one pair on their boots, another pair around their their neck, and that is necklaces. Many of us, we just get used to it. We like the feel of it, and even when we leave the military, many of us continue to wear it. Or we keep. I've actually still have my dog tags. I don't normally wear them, but it's just a reminder of uh, of a bit of my history, of what I went through. And it, um, you know, I, there's just something about it. My, I keep them. I don't normally wear them. But most men who have served in any many branches of the military, I don't know about outside the U.S. how many other branches use this, but they, they you get used to this. You've worn this necklace, and it is a function piece. And that's if you go back and you look at the history of necklaces, that the function was that they showed that you actually had means. They were an outside symbol of wealth. That you, in a sense, can provide. And it was something that women looked at. Men used to actually be the peacocks of society. And we had to send these outside messages that, hey, we were a good provider. That, And, and believe it or not, I mean, this, this did make us more attractive. And you still see this in many cultures, in many areas. I'm here in Los Angeles right now at my sister's place. And I can tell you, I see a lot of style. Now, these guys maybe wouldn't equate it to this, but I see young men, I see older men dressing in a manner that they show, in a sense, what they have. The, uh, my wife, being Ukrainian uh, in Russians, they talk about wear, you know, wearing what they have or presenting themselves. So they don't really invest in bonds and, <laughs> and the stock market. They invest in their houses, in their cars. And by putting out that front, by sending those signals, they're able to attract the type of business, attract the type of uh, partners, uh, whoever it is they want to attract. So necklaces have a long history. Okay, so that was a side note. Let's get back to, I talked about uh, basically style number one, which is the dog tag, that most men have it, or many men have worn. Number two, we're gonna be talking about chains. So in the article, I get into more detail about gold, silver, and uh, the different types of platinums and chains out there. But chains are very simply a chain that goes around. They're usually medium length, and if you wear a shirt, like I could be wearing a chain right now, and you guys wouldn't see it. Maybe if I unbuttoned my shirt, you'd see a little bit of it. I usually see these in areas of warmer weather. I know they're they're much more popular. Uh, I've been down uh, when I'm in Miami or even here in uh, parts of California. It seems like warmer weather chains are wear because you're not in colder weather. I guess you're able to wear more clothing and accessorize more. But here in, in hotter weather, in hotter areas, you can wear a chain and it's not going to add really any heat to your body and it adds a bit of style to whatever you're wearing. So we've talked about dog tags, chains. Let's talk about religious uh, necklaces. So I grew up Catholic and my father gave to me a scapular 
and the deal with the scapular, you know, if you don't know the history, it's supposedly if you die when you wear this, you go, you go to heaven. Now, I'm not going to say, you know, whether that's true or not. Uh, but what I am going to say is that this was something that I wore for quite a few years. And there were many men out there who, whether they be, uh, whether they be Christian, whether they be Jewish, whether they be Islamic, whether they be Buddhist, that they want to wear something that reminds them of their faith. And so men are wearing this, they, they've got something on them that reminds them of you know, their, their history and, and their religion and something that they hold true to. So that is the third style. Now the fourth style is more, it actually encompasses some of the ones I talked about, but pendant style or pe pendants. So basically a pendant is where you have a string or a chain and then there's a single item attached to the bottom. So many religious pieces are pendants. Uh, usually it's reserved more for women or the word pendant, we think of feminine jewelry. And, but many men you can wear, I, here in California or Hawaii, you may see some, some guy wearing a shark's tooth that perhaps he found on the beach and means something to him. I, I remember back in high school, we uh, dur during our football season, we actually had the, I grew up Midland, Midland Greenwood, in case you're not familiar, West Texas football is huge. And I had this little, uh, I think it was, it was light blue. It was a very light blue uh, string and on it we had a chain, a chain link. And that chain link was supposed to symbolize that as a team we're only as strong as our weakest link. And I really thought that was a good analogy of how you, we had to band together and become one and work together to have a great season. Now we didn't make the playoffs so it, you know, didn't fully work, but but I do remember, and, and and I guess it did work because here I am talking about it. So those are pendants, and the thing with having a masculine pendant is you don't want it to be overly large. You don't want to go into costume jewelry, um, and so let's talk about the last piece: chokers. Chokers are necklaces. Usually, uh, they're going to be worn much closer to the neck. So if I was wearing a choker right now, you would be able to see it. And they go around here, they're not supposed to choke you, but they do, in a sense, fit very close around the neck. Um, with chokers, you're gonna see them made from various materials. Uh, hemp, I know it's pretty popular. I just was just up in uh, the Portland, Seattle area, and I saw some men wearing hemp chokers. And it's a, you know, oftentimes maybe beads can be worn. Now, the key with the choker is it needs to be non-irritating. And so make sure whatever you choose that you wear it at least for a couple of days and you make sure that you're not, you know, rubbing yourself around right, you're not going to have a reaction to the material. Okay, so those are the five styles. Now, in the comments below, I would love to hear from you guys about what you think about necklaces. Can they be worn in a masculine manner? And if uh, any of you guys want to answer that question I asked about dog tags, uh, go for it. Okay, guys, so make sure you go check out the article. Uh, this is brought to you again by Proclamation Jewelry, a great company, and they've helped fund all of this. And so they're bringing you all this great information, and I highly advise you check them out. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.